Churchill Dam. A stationary diesel engine. These look like uh, Lombard sled pods. Some uh, Lombard tracks. A foundation of some sort. This is Russell Brook. A lumbar differential gear. This one's broken on both sides. There's a ski there or some sort. It's a broken uh, engine bed for a Lombard. I think that tree was the, uh, the tree where a lot of stuff was leaning up against. And that's kind of what I recall, too. Patented 1894. It's a Lombard uh, steering sprocket with uh, broken teeth. There's a large drive sprocket. It's a broken Lombard steering gear that's been repaired with rivets. Look at that. That's one of the differential cave. A couple of differential frames. It's an older Lombard differential frame. That's a Lombard differential spider gear. A roller chain now, guide. That's what mine looks like. This is an end piece for the uh, differential output. This is a roller chain. Uh, we think it's the uh, smaller size roller. Another Lombard steering gear that's uh, been repaired with rivets. It's a Lombard drive chain. More drive chain. They're more, really rough. More Lombard rollers, a whole string. Another differential frame. Two of them. Some lags. Lombard differential case, case bottom. These are old style Lombard front uh, idlers. It's good to have it just to go by. It's That's a Lombard uh, differential case top. Yeah. Top half. Another Lombard uh, steering gear sector that's been uh, broken and repaired. Lombard axle box uh, broken on one one side. Lombard sled irons. See what that looks like. These are all PVNs right here. Lombard track pad. Here's, odd, huh? here's a deep pit. We're not sure if it's a uh, man-made or or what.